I was muted. Uh, hello, this is the Street Fighter V ride mat at UWFTC at Pit Up Arcade Bar. We're about ready. Uh, the names are wrong. Let me, uh, okay. who's player one? The one? Okay. So we're going to start Fireblaze versus the Tex guy. Um, we're going to go back here for a second. Uh, uh, I... I don't know what's going on. I, there might be a delay, there might not. Uh, so, uh, we have one extra issue now, so it's not a six man bracket. Six man, okay. Uh, we've, we're changing our bracket. Who's, who's up on stream? Yeah, I, I need to know who's up on stream. Oh, um, okay, uh, all right, we're we've added someone else to the bracket, so we're uh, I'll ask my entry. So we're we're kind of just going through some stuff. This is to the bracket, right? I'll just... Okay, uh... Alright, we're, we're getting the stream set up. We're getting the players there. Uh, different players now. We have MT68K uh, and Keo. Here, these players really play much Street Fighter V, so we'll 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 see what they got. Go ahead. Uh, we should be started soon. Doing some stream stuff now. Actually, did it properly this time. So we're gonna go back into the game. I think uh, MT68K is gonna be on Ryu. That's what he's played earlier in Casuals. I don't know who Keo plays in this game. He's more of a Tekken player, so we'll uh, see, see how things go. Okay, Kuma. 
Interesting choice. choice. Akuma is very strong in this version. So we'll see if uh, that can translate to help it out here. Such a strange, I have played uh, MT68K in Tekken before, and he did play Akuma then. Uh, so hopefully the sides are right. Nice, just lean in some pokes. Just throw some fireballs. Uh, red fireball. Good toss you from MT68K. Good wake up DP by Keo. Good wake up sweep. Back to the fireballs. Jump and just misses. Alright, gets out of the corner. Gets swept. MT68K. Jumping in, getting a good hit. Uh, just punches out of that combo. Gets crossed up, but Kyo doesn't finish the combo. Alright, just some neutral here. Good hit, finish the combo. He not really looking for normal oak. He's I don't know if that charge DP was on purpose or or not DP, uh, fireball was on purpose or an accident. But uh just gonna sweep out of it. Oh, that's just not enough to kill. He does have the super if he wants to use that for a chip out. Is this guy going to be probably hit by this super here, I think? No, safe jumped it. Uh, all right, just gets the low forward. All right, round two. Start off with Tatsu. Just gets punished for it. No ender on that punish, so... Alright, good EX fireball, just get through. Some nice basic grand glue footsies. Uh, another sweep with punish there. Block sweep, punish, but not much out of it. Some more fireballs we've thrown around. Some just little medium kicks. Good jump in into a finished combo. Blocks the sweep, doesn't even attempt to punish. Uh, just runs back into fireball range. Uh, more DPs through the fireball. Uh, no, it's. I think he screwed up the Tatsu a few times, but he got it there. Okay, good hit, good hit. They traded fireballs. Uh, back to V trigger. Oh, that doesn't give it an extra hit, so it's just going to lose to the red fireball. Sleep gets punished. Uh, yeah, they're just back in sleep range here. All right, good, good poke, doesn't convert. Pokes him out of that pressure again. Doesn't punch the DP. Uh, does this kill? No, this doesn't kill. Okay, we're, we have another player in our bracket, but it's fine. Uh, it's 1-1 one, one around. Good comeback by Keo. Our uh, resident jury player is now here. We got a real seven player bracket. How excited. All right, just some normal stuff. Air to air into uh, a nice combo on the ground there. Jump into damage, back you off, but that's gonna let Kyo out of stun. That's, MT68K is played very safe, but like this is a game that rewards aggression. Uh, well, that's an actual real combo there, I think. EX Fireball again. We're playing Grand Blue Footsie, son. EX Fireball just equals Red Fireball. You're, you're not going to get much out of that. Alright, both of them are just kind of looking for tosses, but Wake Up DP is going to end it. 1-0 uh, for MT68K. You can see our player cab. We're, we're in a very weird position here at uh, Pit Up because they have two TVs, so the booth we normally use is covered. Uh, they're back in the game now. All right, good hits. Good air to air, good pressure on the ground after. Good sweep. Doesn't recognize the cross counter, so doesn't go for any Oki, or just doesn't know the Oki. Very good sweep, more aggressive. Cross counter sweep. 
weak shimmy. It it didn't work out well for him. Oh. Okay, Keo's gonna take this round. That looked pretty dominant from him. Uh, I am going to refresh this bracket. Yep, here we go. This match is still a match. Uh, I think we're running everything on stream still, but... Doesn't punish the super again. All right, cross counter. No, that that's just trades there. This is uh, median is really important in this game. It's it's really how you can tell these players don't play this game much because they're just missing all their medies, especially the easy ones on uh, the cross counter. Cross counter. All right, back to v -trigger. Uh, he's not really making much use of those V-Trigger fireballs. Just gets jumped in on. Keo's gonna tie it up. So we go back to the player cam. All right. I don't think either of these players have a secondary character, so we're just gonna go right back in. Game free. This is way tighter than anyone thought this was gonna be. Oh, just, just a really late DP there. This really gives up most of his OP opportunity too. Oh, DP instead of Fireball just gets punished for it. Doesn't get the full combo. All right, they're back to Fireball Ward. There's the jump in. There's the uh, frame trap Fireball. Just, just top two. Tatsu, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch the Tatsu there. The poke start. All right, good cross scatter. Just wake up DP, not even a Vincible one. Uh, set points for MT6, 68K. Uh, but Kyo's made some good comebacks so far, so we'll, we'll see what he can do. So this is the EX Fireball. They're both keeping a lot of range. It's enough that Tatsu doesn't punish anything. Uh, that's a weird add to your choice, but it works. Uh, they're back in their fireball range. They're, they're letting each other jump in a lot. All right, another cross counter. Just missed times uh, cross up. Doesn't even attempt to punish the Tatsu. MT68K gets a Yo, gets the knockdown right away. Punishes the sweep that time. With punish there, uh, but runs back. Nice parry. All right, but Keo has four resources. Let's see what he can do. Doesn't punish the sweep. That would have been game. All right. All right, just punishes the overhead attempt. And uh, that's gonna be that. 2 or two to one MT6, 68K. So good, just uh, fundamental street fireball game there. Uh, our next matchup should be uh, Alric here versus Fireblaze. Uh, so these two have uh, Rakir has been playing this game. A lot recently. Uh, he's actually gotten pretty good at it. Fireblaze has barely played this game. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Rakira's on the other side of the room. Okay, fix some stream stuff. All right. Uh, 
so we're still no no we're curious over there uh, it's hard to see from this far away they're gonna go back to character select. Uh, Rakir has been playing Zeku. Mostly old Zeku, but Zeku has to play both. Uh, Fireblaze learned how to somewhat how to play Rakir uh, Abuki today. Uh, I taught him, so we'll see what he retained. Alright, let's go in. I also taught him the right stage to choose. So let, let's see if he chose chooses it. Yes? Alright, alright, we got there. We got there. A right, good costume. Pretty good color from Fireblaze. It's a good start. I assume he picked Beef Trigger 2. I wasn't actually paying attention. Uh, Rakir just picked Beef Trigger 1. It's a good one for Zeku. Alright. I don't know if Rakir has much experience in this matchup. I know Fireblaze has absolutely none. Oh, let me... Okay, some good pokes here. Fireblaze, I I told him you just have to DP. You can't, you can't be doing a bot into DP. Uh, good EX DP. Good overhead. I right, just stayed outside of the Buki's range, so you can punish him with the kicks. Yeah. No punish there for Fireblaze, but he gets a frame trap. Oh, we're here missing the combo after the jump in. Just really simple Oki from Fireblaze, but it's it's way too. Uh, Alright, so Rakir's going to take round one. It was quick, that was... Alright, round two. Rakir off to a dominate lead again. Fireblaze doesn't know how to deal with the flips. Uh, yeah, no, I, you can't really press a button after someone hits you with an overhead in this game. In any game, really. Okay, doesn't get the cross combo. Doesn't. He's out of. He's out of good eye already. He, he's not finishing his combos. Not punishing that. He's just gonna die. Game one for Akira. All right. Uh, we'll see if Fireblaze is able to figure anything out for game two. Uh, I can't really give him any advice from here. We're way too far away. Alright. We're here just dominating again. Takes the throw and just lets it go. What? We're here almost at stun. Gets the stun. He should be able to finish here. Yep. Just gets the perfect. It, it looks like we're here to figure out more about this matchup than Fireblaze did in our 10-second uh, break between games. DX Kunai gets a hit, but it, it's, it doesn't knock down there. It's, it's not really worth it. Kunai is not a close-range tool. Uh, good poke there. Yeah, good. Low crushes. Goes for the simple thing again, doesn't go for the second one. Weird interaction there. Doesn't know about the overhead. Gets frame trapped, or here doesn't get anything off it. Good poke, but just advances, doesn't really. Doesn't punish the super, gets hit by the low. Two over here. All right, let's go back here. Uh, that was quick as expected. Our next match, winner's semifinals. Hastings versus MT68K. Uh, 
I think. Yeah. Hastings, uh, he stayed first in the bracket because Stefan showed up way late. But, uh, oh, we're, we're gonna be in our bidding. Call it has to wash his hands. He just got his food. Um, Alright, uh, so Hastings plays, uh, Zangief, and, uh, MT68K, you've already seen us play Ryu, so it's a pretty, pretty simple Street Fighter matchup, you've probably seen a bunch, uh, we should, uh, we'll see how much MT68K knows about Zangief in this, uh, game. Because the first level of the Zangief matchup for everyone is the knowledge check. Do you know what's real? Do you know if you can get out of Tick Froze? How to get out of Tick Froze? Uh, what do you do? You know, what's his rages on his SPDs? What Oki he gets off of each of them? Uh, then it gets worse in the corner. You know, simple stuff. Uh, so, taking longer than I thought. Uh, We'll see what costume Hastings uses. Recently, he's been using the uh, the Mecha Zangief costume with or without the costume code wings. Uh, MT, MT has just been using standard Ryu. Uh, we'll see how that if it, that changes. MT is actually back now, so we're going to get into this one. Uh, all right, just get in now, make sure their controllers are set up. Alright. Gotta go for the loading. Uh, okay, we should... We should be started a second now. Oops. Wrong sin. Alright, here we go. Alright, alright. We're gonna go with Wrestler Zangief. The. I can't remember which wrestler this is. So. Let's see if I'd actually pull the second mic so you guys can hear better. Uh. All right, so Hastings is one of Hastings is another one of the real Street Fighter Five players we have here at UWFGC. Yep. MT sixty eight K backing up, but he's backing himself up into the corner. He's he's out of room to back up. He's jumping forward, gets armored, gets thrown. That's don't think that's real. Just lets him run up in SPD. I mean, he's, he's basically in the corner, gets the stun. The tea bags, how rude. That's, if you're MT, you're, you're not happy about that round. You gotta, you gotta play more aggressive, you gotta play your game better. Gets the good low there, gets a good poke into fireball. Gets some more fireballs, things are, things are going his way better. But he's back in the corner. He's walked himself back in the corner. Yes, he gets to jump over. All right, he, he now has a whole screen to walk before he walks himself back in the corner again. Oh, misses there with the fire, the DP instead of the fireball. Gets thrown first trouble. This is gonna be some real shit. Real okay shit here. Looks for the DP, just flexes on the boy. Gets the DP there, just flexing on my boy MT. This isn't good. All right, all right, cross cutter. All right, this round's looking better for MT, but he's back in the corner. Just lariat. That's, it's not super good in this game, but it still deals with cross ups sometimes. 1-0 for Hastings. Go to our, uh, our lonely player cam. You can see our, uh, 
the practice setup for practice. All right, we're back in. No one wants to switch any characters. Colors, no one needs to think. Okay, good cross up, DP. Now he has Zaggy for the corner, and he's walking back again. This is a very scared Ryu play. Uh, I, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep this up. Good poke, poke uh, low speed out armor. I don't know if you knew this, there was just poking. Uh, gets jumped in on, gets jumped in on again. Uh, jumps out of that. I, I think that was just a reset. I think I actually get hit by that reset most of the time. Now this is gonna be a combo. It's mid screen. Let's see if he lets him get the Oki. He lets him get a lot of Oki. Gets the EX. That's gonna kill or it's gonna stun, it doesn't matter. All right, set points for Hasten. MTS play more aggressive. He's been doing better. He's walking forward now, but he's just getting hit by the sword normal. So he jumps over the fireball, more sword normal. No confirm on some pokes there by MT. Good so confirm, still, not actually confirm, but. All right. Letting himself get walked back in the corner. Air SPD. Hasted is feeling himself today. Hasted is feeling himself. He has that look on his face. He has that look on his face. It's just over. It's over. He has that Zangief player smile. If you're a Street Fighter player, you know the one. You know you know the Zangief player smile. The Yeah, I, I got you. I know exactly what you're going to do. And I'm going to just not let you do it. Yeah, I know. Uh, next, we're going to have Stefan versus your Kier. Uh, probably our realest matchup until winners' finals. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, winner of this assured points for this week in our round match. Because uh, the six players, top three should get points. I know I said seven players earlier, but uh, uh, unfortunately... Uh, we could have reset the bracket, so we just let Stefan in with someone who didn't really want to play that much. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna wait for the next minute for them to get set up. Go check their buttons. Uh, so we, Stefan plays either uh, Jury or Bison. Have I had that? Uh, let's just... All right, uh... So we're gonna swap some plays around while they choose characters. Uh, <laughs> All right. So this is a fun cho choosing jury this time. I don't know if these guys have played recently. Uh, I don't know. These are both kind of unusual characters. I don't know if either has any experience in this matchup. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. Good early lead from uh, Rakir, but Stefan just takes it back. All right. Good pressure. Jumps away so he can just. Ooh. All right, but doesn't get Aoki. Just gets Frodo of Aoki. Breaks the fro. Good jump in again. Going to lead to V trigger. Some more damage. Uh, most of the way to the corner here. Puts on in his scary range. Uh, but Rakira just V triggers and runs at him. Good air fro. Good hit. Can he kill here? No. Uh, EXDP. Super is a great catch something. 
Oh, that is safe. Yeah. I think he thought it was going to chip out, but... You know, this... You really want to chip someone out, they have to be pretty low. You got to throw those EX fireballs. This is... You know, it's like Stefan hasn't been playing Grand Blue. Alright, Stefan loading up with the fireball charge. Doesn't... Just gets hit by the overhead. Alright, jumps out. Good ant here. Gets the heavy charge. Uh, jump in again. That's going to be safe at that distance. Gets the last charge. B skill. Blocks the overhead. Going to get a wood punish off this. Uh, I don't know if he dropped through. That's all he gets. Alright. Go get in. Oki throw. Uh, broken. Just DP beaten. Rekir's going to tie it up. Game, or round three. All right, if they keep going, to, if these guys keep going to round three, we're not going to be out of here before the Raptors game starts. Uh, and I'm going to be here in this small little commentary booth until halftime. But uh, Stefan gains a good jump in. He has a good lead. Good poke so far. All right. Gets a good conversion there. Rekir less than half health. Gets a hit, just takes V trigger from it, doesn't actually have anything. He's looking for that charge, takes the takes the dash. There's the throw. Misses the throw there. Uh, Stefan misses the throw. It just it's gonna come with super, this isn't gonna kill. And just normal DP is out. Stefan takes game one. All right, you can see the players in our very far, very far player cam. We're going right back in for game two. All right, just some good counter poke hits. Good jump in. Going to get conversion off it. Going to take the heavy charge. His pressure. Throw is broken. Gets poked out from his poke. All right, good jump in by Rakir. Going to get some good damage off this. Just needs one more hit, throw anything, gets the stun. Does, just, what? Just goes for the kick, was that a missed input? Uh, Stefan cancel it, but jumps back and just gets DP'd. All right, both players went, oh, pokes him out of the V, pokes him out of the V scale. All right, round two. If you're making good use of these uh, kicks for pokes. Uh, weird trade there. All right, Stefan gets an advantage, takes some charges out of it. Just DX DPs. Rakir's pretty close to stun. He has to be careful here. But it's not going to matter because he gets a hit. Stefan's now close to stun, but he's also close to death, so. Okay, we're thin. Stefan throws Rakir out of the corner. Gonna cancel that. V trigger. V reversal. Alright. Gonna try and stay outside of Jerry's poke range. Oh, it just pokes, pokes him out. 1-1. One, one. All right, go back to the player cam. You can see there, Hastings, uh, looking at his, or Cherion right here. Now Cherion Stefan. We're going back right into game three. All right, good pokes. Those, those long range kicks finally working out. Stefan's found an answer, not a super good one. But he's found an answer to those flips and he just you just jump. Alright, good jump in again. Good gets it just a dash. Good damage. One more hit. Oh, one more after that. No, Rakir's gonna get out of stun range. Alright. Rakir gets a hit into V trigger. 
All right. Sponsor gets some pokes into his future, a hit. Or buttons. Ooh, blocks the overhead, gets his own combo. And just kills him. Match points to Fawn. Good ant here. Uh, seemed a little low, he didn't like get the full charge. Gonna just go straight into super, just cashing out all the meter. All right, V skill works that time. Ooh, good, good with punish. Sweep. Gonna get hit. Uh, Good cross up by Rakir. Uh, just lots of good pokes there. Frame trap. Stefan's gonna take it. 2 1. There we go. Back to the commentator booth. Uh, so. So we're at Winners Finals. Stefan versus Hastin. Uh, I think we're running. I think we're going to be running winners finals. Stefan versus Hastin right now. Uh, so we'll get that set up. Okay, switch a flag around. All right, let's see what Zangief can do against Jury. Uh, or Bison. I don't know which one Stefan wants to play. They want to switch stuff up, play Bison, play just a good character. Who would want to do that? I know. Uh, go back in on stage select. Ring of Justice, going for that CPT. All right. Yeah, they're going to stay with their mains. Ooh. The old classic Street Fighter 4 jury and the Mecha Zangief. All right, these guys did play last our last round back. Uh, Stefan won, but I know Hastings wasn't feeling very well about his performance all of, I want to say last week, but it's two weeks ago. All right, no wings this time. Let's go. Let's see if we can make, go. Only parries the first one, as able to parry the special after. Just gets counter hit by all these frame traps. Is able to punish. All right, Stefan has some good pokes, taking a good lead. Hasty's goes stunned, but that's not going to be a problem now. This is mid screen, but he's got his good jump by Stefan. Good job. All right, Stefan takes. Stefan takes round one. Oh, good anti-air jab. Beats the cross-up. Ooh, just counter hits him out with that uh, SPD. Air SPD. Hastings actually is feeling himself this week. EX SPD. Tick throw there. He's going to get real thin, but EX DP is going to get him out. Oh, wasn't looking for the, the follow-up. Jury and V-Trigger is, is hard to steal for Zangief if you just want to try and parry everything. Gonna, I don't think he can kill here. Hasten has to get back in, but this can kill? Yeah, that's going to kill. Hasten's going to tie this game up. Alright. Ooh, gets... Uh, Good poke by Stefan. He's gonna take the life lead. He's gonna, gonna get our poke converted into super. Just take that half half health bar lead. Hasted just getting hit by a lot of these pokes. Gets the poke back himself, but it's not gonna do much. That's gonna be game one going to Stefan.
Game two, Stefan, good lead, start. Good DP there. The pro escape. No, I think he wanted Larry to go for that, but it was too close. All right, good. Punishes that, I think. Jump out, trades with the anti-air. Blocks, but Stefan's just gonna guess. He's just gonna jump. He's also just gonna sit there and block and get an SP get an SPD. Spawn another hit. Okay, normal throw for Hastings. Just back dashes out of the out of the meaty setup. Or is that even meaty there or no? Alright, Safon's so taking the fireball charge every time. Oh, EX SPD. See, mid screen, but I guess. No, Stefan's just gonna back dash, but Hasty was looking for a super EX DP. So it didn't really matter what he did. Uh, this should do a fair bit of damage, not as much as last time. Alright. Hasty and EX SPD. Stefan is no meter. He's gonna get real oaky. Which one is it? He's just going for the meaty. Lariat wasn't safe there. Stefan takes game two. All right, uh, Hasty was actually pretty close both of those games. They're just gonna go right back into game three. Uh, honestly, I think it's a bunch of guessing he just has to get right. Oh yeah, no, that arm is not going to work there. He just crosses up. Good hit. Good EX SPD. He's going to get dash up. Stefan is meter though. Yep, Stefan is going to get EXDP. Um, actually blocks that after. Not as much as he wants to. Breaks the throw. Just gets hit out of it. Is Jury good or is this just a bad matchup? Who knows? Going to get the kill. Stefan, game point. Stefan wins another round. He goes into grand finals on winter side. Good counter poke there by Hastings. He's gotten hit by that at least three times. In the last like two rounds. Oh, just gets whiff punished. His crushing medium kick isn't long enough. All right. Good throw from Hastings. Hastings been really respectful of these uh, EXCPs. Oh, gets hit by the V skill. That's going to be Frio. Frio for Stefan. Cries of that busted from across the room. Cries of also it's not though. You guys could all guess who is saying what. All right, uh, I think we already have loser semis next. Uh, MT's gonna get back on stream. Your boy, Just Sean, subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you, Just Sean. Very hype. Uh, I'm gonna go back to me for a second. I'm going to lean down so I'm in frame. All right, uh, thanks for saying you love the stream, just Sean Z12. TZ12. All right, uh, there we go. This is a, this is not a rematch. I thought it was. Uh, Rakir versus your boy MT68K. I'll have to ask him what's with the new name later. Uh, are they in game? Not yet. Uh, let me fix some flags. I, I, thankful the people who have flags are sitting on the player one side right now. Making this a lot easier on me. Alright. So I don't know if MT knows this matchup either. 
Deku is a fucking weirdo. He's also pretty new. So there's a guy running. We're gonna get some loading screens, some fat, flashy, flashy loading screens. Ryu, you guys all know about Ryu from Streets. He likes bread, he likes water without ice, and he likes a good fireball game. He's not a big fan of this game. Zeku has a good footsie game, which I mean he kicks you a bunch. Oh, that DP just puts him right out of punish distance for Akira. Uh, good run up throw. Back throw though, so it doesn't get him in the corner. All right, uh, I don't have to yell this much act loud actually. Uh, all the music's off, this is nice. Thank you Raptors for something at least. Good, I thought that was gonna be cross, but it wasn't. Rakir gets the stun, finishes the round. It's really good for him. This one's only first to two. Uh, loser's semis now. Winner gets to fight Hastings. All right, all right. Rakir gets some good hits with his kicks. Get him in the corner. Some more kicks. Uh, DP to stop the jump in. The cross up. I think he's gonna kill. No, he doesn't. He had he had super. I don't know why he wasn't killing. I'll talk to him about this later. Just slide. Net play classic. Rakir takes game one. I've been told this is net play classic. I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't played net played this game since uh, Midnight came out. All right, they're going straight back into game two. Oh, good parry on the jump in, but not really to parry or DP the next thing. Good wake up DP, I don't even know if that one's actually a DP. Fireball just loses to flip. Good whiff punish by Rakir. Uh, gets poked out of the overhead, back to uh, fireball range. Out of sweep range even. But MT is close to the corner. Now he has to deal with whatever Zeku does. Even if we're, was that a setup or did he just drop that? I don't know. Uh, or fireballs. I can't tell if the music's back or that's just the Raptors game TV. Rakir's going to take this round, match point. All right, all right, all right, good hits. Badly timed Mexican uppercut. Badly timed DP there. Good poke, pokes him out of his, uh, it's not right projectile, his kicks. Good block on the jump in, is able to deal with the throw. Here, baits out the kick and doesn't punish it, just throws the move out. Good anti-air jab. Next hit could win it for here. Ooh, that's a hard one to get hit by. We're gonna go straight into our next game, and then we're gonna straight into losers finals. I need to switch a flag. Uh, RTO is calling for the match that's already about to start. You see it right there in the player cam. Uh, at this point, they're sure to get points for a round match. We're just going to see how much they can get. Uh, I'm just going to restreet the bracket that I should have retweeted earlier. Uh, yeah. All right, Zeku, Zangief. You knew this was coming. You've been watching all along. You know this is coming. Now, these guys have played a lot of casuals. Uh, 
they've played a lot of casuals. Since before we were even going to want to run that, they were playing casuals. Let's see how this goes. Hasty's good if wins this time. The Zeku kicks are hard for uh, Zangief to deal with. Good jump in there. All right, now Zaku gets some Oki. Oh, good Lariat. Oh, that's... You can jump out of that. Don't... Don't hold it, Rakir. Just back dashes out. He was in range of that... As, that take row setup. All right, Hastings was looking for the jump there. Uh, this would be EX SPD. Is this going to kill? That's gonna kill. Round one for Hasten. All right, round two. Rakir baiting out the the armor. Good anti-air jab. Good lariat. Gets the DP for the first time today. He gets the DP. Gets a good punish. Gets hit by the second DP. I hear hasty laughing from here. That's how you know uh, Zaggy players crying inside. When they laugh. Alright, Rakir takes the lead, gets a throw, gets another throw, gets the overhead, gets the sweep to punish the V trigger Tatsu. Punishes the dash up. Crouches under and just punishes the Lariat. First little throw. Oh, gets hit. Crush counter. Alright. Does Rakir know what, what can happen here? Yes, he does. Oh, hits him on the reverse. Doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, was he going for the RSBD? Did did he just screw up the RSPD? No, that that's just game one for Akira. Uh, Just gonna go right back into it. I'm gonna go to my party for this uh, FGO raid. AC getting hit by a kick as he runs up. Just some good footsies from Akir. Crush counter, doesn't get anything off it, but the corner. Good Lariat. Good EX SPD. Raptors game appears to be starting. Or the play to Canada for no reason, I don't know. Uh, Look here, just one more hit, one more throw, anything. One more sweep even. Oh, he tries to sleep too early. Gets hit, but we're here, uh, it's lucky. All right, all right, all right, all right. Curry is a tough pet as a box this time, yeah? Hasty gets a hit. Gets hit again. Oh, that's that's not safe there. No. All right, gets the lariat. Ex SPD. Let's let's see what he does for Oki. All right, uh, all right, all right, Hasty gets a hit. Is Oki EX SPD, it's gonna kill. Good comeback by Hasty in there. Good hit with the Lariat. Armors for the 
the jump in. Curious that I also punished the the high there. Some good hits from Akira Hizoki. Lariat right for the kick. Good dash in, good damage. Jump. Just jump. Oh, he is. Was he looking for the super? Alright. The XDP. Next hit for either player could take it. Oh, what a. V trigger spin through it. That's going to be 1 1. Alright. Right back into game three. Good anti air jab. Beats the, the flip with just a lariat. Here, making good use of the back dash. Just get out of Zangief. Thanks. Pro, I, I think Hastings was looking for a back dash there. I know what he was looking for there. It's a jump in EXDP. That's going to ruin his thing. Is able to break the throw. Breaks the throw again. Let's go to trade. B trigger spin. He doesn't have supers. Uh. Alright, alright. Rick here's going to take a couple pokes. Round two. Good hit from Hastings there. Cashes out, gets all that uh, great life. Too far for the EXDP. EXSPD. Alright, now Kira's got him in the corner. Good hit. EXDP, Hastings back in the corner. Flex it on the boy. Oof. Trades with the naughty XDP. Breaks the throw. Hastings just gonna drop some uh sort of normals, gets grabbed by the throw. What's the Oki? Hits into throw. Well Kira's gonna take the spin. Did I set the right target for this uh NP? I don't know. We're right into round three here in game three. Alright, Larry, it's a round start. Just some hits. Rakir guesses right on that messy guessy. Alright. Hastin jabs his way out. EXSPD. What's for Kier going to guess? What's for Kier going to guess? Not running bear grab. Not. Oh, not jump SPD. If Hastin had meter to make that EX, that would have been game. Hastin needs one hit. Is he's gonna, it might be. Yeah, he's going to jab him out after the. And jab him out but after the sweep. Next. Next. Netplay Classic doesn't mean shit here. Uh, that's nowhere near as many crit stars as I wanted. Uh, we're going right into game four. Hastin could win it this game, get his run back against Stefan. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't do it with the flip properly that time. Did I put that buff on the right person? Yes. All right. Gets it with the tick throw set up. Deals with uh, the jump in. Where's that flip? All right, hasty in the corner. Rakir gets hit by that. Uh, yes, Lariat beats the jump out of the. Oh, hasty grit. That's. Hasty guessed the job. All right, trade there. I don't know what traded. I, I back to normal. Dash up EXSPD. So we got EXDP. Just doesn't want to deal with that shit. I get that. I don't. I don't really want to deal with that shit here. Gets an SPD. What's the messy guessy? 
just backdashes the messy guessy. It's only messy because it's backdashable. He should be able to get, uh, he doesn't go for the XSPD off this, goes for a side swap. Oh, is that a punish? I think that's gonna kill. And that'll be Rakir taking game four to our final game. No. Yes. That round marker took a long time to show up. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm used to games where it shows up really quick. Oh, they're right into game five. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Watch pokes over here. Hasty's been very careful with his. Gets a good jump in. Oh, wrong side. It doesn't auto-correct anymore. All right, gets the throw. Jump in, cross up. That's gonna be stud, it doesn't matter if you drop the combo. Set point, match point for a cure. All right, good Lariat. Good EXDP. Good uh, jump in, converts it into button. EX spin. He was looking for the, ooh! Grabs him out of there. All right, good Lariat again. Really respecting uh, Rakir's EXDPs. I think he's looking for Rakir to make, make a move. Rakir dies into throw. Uh, Hastings isn't ready for the throw. All right, normal throw. What's the Oki? SPD. We got a final. Final round, folks. We're gonna press some buttons. We're gonna come in here. Just some quick pokes. Good tick throw. Oh, Lariat, but he's too far away. This is gonna be some good damage for Rick here. He's gonna get Oki here, but he doesn't use it. Rick here just jumping right out. The super's not gonna do anything. Hasty is lost on that meter. Good Lariat, good Lariat. Are they trade? Antier in the the jump in. Rick here just gonna back dash out. He doesn't want any of this bullshit. Alright. Hasty has now used all his resources. V trigger, all his meter. Jabs him out of, I assume that was the overhead flip. All right, Hastings does have the lead now, but he has no resources. Oh, trade! I, I did not expect that to trade. One more hit by either player could seal it. I think your cure has to be even. Oh! Oh! Rakir takes it with the uh, the anti-standing tech. Uh, Hasty is going to take third again. He's he's not happy about that one. Uh, I'm going to be done by FTO raid. Uh, we're doing the six mil over here. We got we got real shit. Ready that Dulcer double Merlin right? Uh, if Hastings would like to join me for commentary, if Rakir would like to get Hastings to join me for commentary, Jack, you want it? I'm so fucking mad at that. You know what's actually not the worst thing about you losing? It makes this way easier. Because I only have to stage one flag. So fucking mad at that. 
I was I was super surprised when that Larry traded with his kicks. It's because it's not a it's not a projectile hitbox. Yeah. It's a kick hitbox for some reason. It has a hitbox for some reason. That isn't a projectile. Did I update that yet? Yeah. No, okay. You should move Rick here over. I should. And add an L to the end of that. Yeah, I should actually. There we go. We're good. This is even dark. I have been doing it properly this whole time. Until last game. There you go. There you go. Uh, anyway, we're probably going to see Zeku versus Jury. Uh, I'd actually think that Zeku Bison would be better for him. Well, we might see that game two or set two. But I, I know he just wants to play. He just wants to play Jury. Yeah. I, I'd prefer seeing. Like I think that. Bison's a lot stronger uh, in this matchup. He can get he can get around a lot of Zeku stuff, right? His Bison is still very strong. We, yeah. we saw it last week. Uh, yeah. Not going for charges right away. Can't go into the air. Uh, I think he's scared that Andy's just going to throw those kicks out. Um, old Zeku, I you just need to get in on Zeku, like old Zeku. The problem is that old Zeku is a lot of really strong anti airs. But again, uh, but uh, Jury is pretty good at like getting hurt. And I don't think that Andy knows how to fight Jury very well. No, I I think Stefanzo nice will place Jury in this province. Some damage. There we go. Throw in the corner. Jury gets some pretty decent Oki off of her normal throw. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Gets out. He's trying to go for an air throw there. Yep. Channeling channeling you actually. Some bad damage there. Yeah, Jury does have an air throw. A lot of people forget about that. There's the stun, that's gonna be uh Rakir's route. Yeah, no, it's... Unless the scaling is bad, which it might be. So, uh, Jury actually is an option here against uh, Andy here. There we go. She, this is just kill, yeah. yeah. Um, though, uh, what's it called? Though the uh, dash is completely invincible, you actually can, like, reverse oh. over it. Yeah, that's Fireball in this one. I forgot about that, yeah. yeah. Um... So, yeah, some good damage. Corner carry. Blocks the DP. There we go. It's probably going to be really close. Not a stun. There's the stun. Better yeah, scaling on this, too. So. Yeah. It's not amazing, though. Like, Jury is not deal doing a lot to do something. So, she got meter there because uh, the end of the kicks actually ate the projectile part. Remember, there's three zones that uh, Zeku's projectile exists, exists in. There's the kick section. That's a physical kick hitbox. There's the gram section, and then there's the echo section. They're all different. Yeah. Uh, that'll be game one, yeah. Stefan. Game one, Stefan. Did this he is, win that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Air to air, they trade. Stefan still has the slight life lead. Stefan being... Just hits him out of the, the high. He's being more courageous with his charges now. There we go. No, um... No, no he, he hasn't been following those up at all. It's a weird crush counter, it's an air crush counter. A lot of characters don't actually have very many options for air crush counter. I mean, I assume it was like a bookies where you, you don't really get good options, you have to know it's yeah. coming out. There we go. Uh, those kicks are technically minus four, but it pushes you far back enough that it doesn't matter. Her two part kick? Yep. Yeah. No, uh, we're here trying to punish it earlier and it moved just didn't come you out can, far enough. You can basically punish it with a reversal or a super. Anything that's instant, but like stuff that's delayed, he's too far. Stefan, Letty, Rakir just come back out of the stun. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Jerry, jury's godlike anti-air jab. It's a very strong anti-air jab. There's the overhead. Throws him in the corner. What's it going to be? Here's the mix. There it is. Just throw. Sometimes you just need it. Stefan still has the major life lead. Throws him in the corner. That's it. Stefan yep. takes the second game. It's really quick up. games here. Uh, just looking pretty one-sided. Yep. No, it's... Uh, I know he played against me last, but switching from fighting Zangief to another character can sometimes be pretty tricky. Yeah. Because Zangief does not play the standard Street Fighter Five game. Sometimes against Zangief, you just want to jump. Yeah. You're really, it's not even really read. It's just like, I'm going to jump here. Yeah. He just, now he knows I want to jump. There's the throw. Uh, so I feel like he can do more of this air stuff. Because Jury does have a very strong anti-air, but it's not... 
don't it's, think it's, it's not Larian. Yeah, it's, it's not. Like, you, you stumped most of those with Larian. Yeah. Oh, this is the second part of that. Not great. There we go. Pinwheel kick, gets over it. Here's the pressure. It's totally fake. Hits him over the overhead. Just the throw. Very close. Anything from either of these players will kill. So he could have actually reversal there. There is a, there is a, it's minus two. He gets hit by the overhead though. Yeah. I, I don't think I've seen anyone block that overhead tonight. It's a very, just it doesn't look like an like a overhead on startup, right? To be fair, what are those people as Fireblaze who had never seen yeah. that overhead before? Like I look for it and I don't I don't do anything about it sometimes, right? No, I know it exists and I get hit by it like yeah. seventy five percent of the time. There we go. Damage. Some good pressure. Good trigger. He's at full meter. Oh, misses the pinwheel kick. I think that was supposed to be ex. I think that was a missed input. Yeah. Jury just go into the corner. Yeah. Well, her V reversal, uh, her V trigger lasts a very long time. Oh no, it just it looks very silly. Yeah. Just go into the corner. There we go. Back throw. Wants to play the neutral again. I think that uh, Young Zaku is very good. Back throw again. There we go. That's it. That should be it for the round. Tournament point for Stefan. I don't know if spending the meter there was the right thing. Uh. I think he's saving meter is less important in this game than you think. Yeah, but I think he could have killed with the EX. I don't think he could have. The scaling would be too bad. He would have had to burn two anyway, so there's no point. There we go. Like, Jury gains a lot of meter. See? He's going to get stunned. Better grab all the charges. Just hit him with the BNB. Oh, no, it went for reset, reset. into fro. Good, good jump throw. in that's hard to anti here. That could have been an EX DP. That could mean a lot of damage. There we go. Oh, block nice the job overhead. Blocking. That overhead's a lot easier to block. I still get hit by that a lot. That's not dead yet. There we go. That's it. Rakir actually puts himself on the board. Uh, I don't know. If we're, we're probably not going to see the character switch from, from Safan, but uh, no, we're not. just goes right into it. I mean, he still is in our set, even if he yeah. loses this one. And he's winning this set so far, yeah. so... Oh, no anti-air, but he does empty it. Safe. Uh, most of Zeku's kick stuff is safe. You have to do, like, an armor move, got to an anti-air it. Nice pressure. Just DPs out of it. That's what you need to do. Here it goes. Damage. Pinwheel. Gives, gives him a little bit of meter. Cross under. Locks it. Very well. Ducks under the throw. Ah, uh, yeah. We can't believe people are watching the Raptors either. Uh, just Sean, who is totally not affiliated with us at all. Yep. See, okay. Just hits him out with the uh, kick. No. Kick is a four frame, but it's high, it's it's as plus as it is. So it's uh it's kind of hard to deal with, especially with four frame characters like Jury. Normal Jump throw. and throw. I love the look of Zaku's throws. What up? Press the button, throw. DP. There we go. So Fonz is going to take the charge, pinwheel kick. It's a good anti here. It's good damage. Uh, Stefan has a lot of meter right now. He has a lot of meter, uh, and Zeku is sitting on the V-trigger. He wants to wait for the dash, which is what just happened. He checked the dash, was able to get through it. Nice. Bad spacing on that throw. Bad spacing on oh. the anti here. That's probably going to be it. I, that, was just, that was just a bad Ooh. forward, not really spacing. Nice run up, stop throw. That's a real two, thing. Two, two. All right, we're going into the final game of the set. Uh, probably not the final game of the tournament. Uh, Zeku, young Zeku's like run up, Bushin and stuff is actually very good. It's really, uh, it's a lot quicker than it looks. Do you think Rakir should be taking more or making more use of it? Mm, he uses it a lot to begin with. The problem with it is that it's minus. 
Like, the options, unless he cancels it, are super minus. And canceling it can be pretty iffy, because they can just, like, hit you out of it. Overhead. Double overhead. overhead. Again. Triple overhead actually blocked, not punished well. Yeah, it is uh, it is minus. Overhead's getting there. Stefan escapes the stun, at least. No punish on the overhead. That's going to be it. That, sh that should be it, yeah. yeah. Uh, Zach, old Zaku's stand heavy kick, really strong, really good, like, really good range. Right? This is a reset point for a here. Jumps over it, that's correct. Nice job, uh, keeping his spacing away, getting some good damage here off the crush counter. Get the corner, corner, though. Yeah. Overhead. All safe. It's actually like minus two, but... Old Zaku is not a three frame character, remember that. Nice job with the uh, EX wheelhouse kick. Nice throw. Just converting off one thing should kill here. Yep. Oh, doesn't continue with the pressure, wants to save it. OP move. OP move. It has like 20 frames to start up. OP. Please nerf. Uh, so both of these, uh, Stefan's sitting on tournament point, Rakir's sitting on a reset point. Nice anti air. Nice anti air. Doesn't get anything off it, wastes a nope, meter. He does not waste a meter. Was that a setup? That's off? safe. That's safe. Oh, yeah, that is safe. Takes the V skill. No, see, the V skill actually charges. It's persistent. You don't just charge it once and it goes off. You can charge it intermittently and it'll go that distance. Makes more sense. There we go, air throw. There it is. The thing that people forget jury has. I know I do. Normal I, throw. Nice I've reset. seen it on Stefan at least three times tonight. It's all safe. Ooh. No EXDP there. That, that was super. Could have super too. Okay. I mean, all Stefan needs is just hit. one hit, and then he can just super. Nice uh, zo uh, neutral here from here, and that's it. This is a good Stefan will take it. Sturman's point for Stefan. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our uh, our Eunice round mat next week. Yep. Uh, week after, we're doing Tekken 7 on a Tuesday. And Thursday, back here at Pit Up, we're doing our third Street Fighter Five round mat. And also uh, Sam Show. What? And also Sam Show. We're not running Sam Show, though. Are we? No, we're, we're just running it twice the month after. Okay. Yeah. And not Sam Show. And there's gonna be Sam Show shut ups, but like. Yeah. And you might sponsor by Pinup Arcade. Yep. Uh, Stormblood, our official game, only for another two weeks. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.